Unlimited bangers, coup de gras. Here we go. The tanks are back on track. It's about half past six at Arena Essex, and Christ, I'm cold. But I think this race is going to warm us up. I think me and Dave up here are still loving the action. The fans here certainly are. Look at this. The action is going right from the off before they got anywhere near the green flag. There's 190, the Pikey doing a great job for the Southern Army here today. They need to pull some points back here because the Northern side are leading again and going well. And it's looking good for the North at the moment. The free destruction derby is still to come after this. And it looks as though we may well have wiped out about half the field in this race already. So there's the Pikey car number 190 for the uh, Southern Army going through. And that's Steve Bailey with the V6 powered Jaguar. V6 Jag there for Steve. He's going well. Treble 2 gets knocked off the raceway. It's the Northern Army Jaguar of Matthew Logan in that Treble 2 car. 481 that goes racing through for the uh, Southern Army. That's Bernie Spires. Here comes our man again, the Pikey, doing a great job, not only scoring lots of points today, but uh, he's also caused lots of havoc on the raceway and taken some of those Northern boys out. The Northern cars coming through now, six. Oh, in fact, into the arm go, goes the, uh, I believe it is, in fact, our uh, Spires car that's uh, gone hard into the arm go fence. The 32 car, oh, head on, and a fire. My word, the indestructible 32 car of Matt Small there. The Chrysler Imperial water motor car. Wave jelly flags, there were flames underneath the uh, Northern Jaguar down here. There's still flames under there. It's a waved yellow flag and another race suspension in the uh, tanks final. Well, the 920 car, it was indeed the Medley car, 920 from the north. James Medley there, who once uh, won a dirt track Banger Racing World Championship down at Kings Lynn. Oh, it must be five or six years ago now. Usually races uh, in green, but uh, he's been pushed off the raceway. It looks so he's done for this one. Well, my papers are blowing all, blowing all over the place, uh, but uh, they're lining the cars up again, and we're going to get this uh, race back underway. We've got five, six Southern cars, and it looks as though we're going to be going very quickly, possibly, the way Jella flags are flying. Just have a count up on the Northern cars for you. Seven, eight, Northern cars, nine, there's another one moving, nine Northern cars. Well, it looks so we might well be going for a complete restart this time, or is it? No, not too sure. They're lining the cars up. A single file start in lap sheet order. Yellow period in the interests of safety, but we're back going again now, and the boys are pretty keen to get the action back on pretty swiftly. There's the state car of uh, number 80 there for the uh, Northern team, Matt Allman. He's got a bit tangled up. He gets a head on from the Pikey. And I think that's done quite a lot of damage to the uh, 190 car of Steve Bailey. Steve Bailey backing it in now. More action here as they come round the turn. Hard, fast and heavy racing in the Civil War. Big smash on the main straight. The roar of the crowd, the excitement of big league unlimited CC banger racing here. Matt Small still going well with that 32, doing a lot of damage with that one. The only car on the racetrack today that isn't red or white. Here come the Southern Army coming through. In reverse is car number 290. Here comes Noon, the 85. Oh, Noon goes in for a midship on the 290 car. Jay Tompkins in 290 today, the big Jaguar. Another big hit. The North going for the wreck. It's here. Trying to sort them out. Pikey comes across to try and just grab one of those Northern boys. There's not much left now for the Northern team going around Lizzie's turn at the moment. 
It looks like the commander lost it, Lloyd Isherwood. Here he comes now, commander, a race winner here today. And the car still looking pretty clean, but he's going to be careful through here. Ah. So he's outfoxed the uh, 190 Bailey car there. Well, Bailey was waiting, expecting him to go to the outside. Lloyd made it for the inside line, nipped up the speedway track and continues on his way. Car number 85 is still running for the uh, Southern Army. That's James Ellis. Lloyd Isherwood then from the Midlands. Number 83 races with the men in black on a regular basis. Weaves his way through superbly done there on the main straight, making it through the carnage once again. Now circulating, we've got three Southern cars, one Northern car. There's a couple more Southern cars moving a little bit. There's one other Northern car also just about moving. Now here comes Lloyd. Watch out, Lloyd. There's red cars everywhere. Oh, Bailey! Bailey goes for him, but couldn't quite get him. And a head-on collision right by the starter's rostrum. So, down the far side, there's another attack from the south, but Lloyd survives again. Number 85, just ahead. Oh, 336 three, in, Smith starts up, reverse gear, backs it into the 83, but didn't get him. Lloyd goes through again, amazing. He's doing well to avoid all these red cars going down the back straight. And now the 83 car is behind the Southern car. The 85 car just nudges him, drives around the outside, realizes that uh, 85 hasn't got the speed at the moment. And here comes Lloyd, and they made contact. But it, oh, they slowed him up, they might get him now. Well, just listen at the crowd there. 85, James Ellis has caught up with Lloyd now in the 83 car. Lloyd spins it around. He's on the speedway. Where's he going? He's being chased around there. He's coming back onto the track. Still, maybe we'll pick up some points here. Lloyd weaves his way through, we'll try again. The lap board's going out on the starter's rostrum and it looks like he's still the leading car. 416 for the Southern Army in the uh, tanks there. Race leader coming through again. There's opposition. He manages to outfox Ian Smith there in 336. Ian doing his best to stop him, but he has been caught again. Can he survive? My word, lost it, Lloyd. He's a cat with nine lives here. He comes back again. <laughs> And I'm sure you can hear the uh, crowd here at Arena Essex really enjoying this. Down the back straight, he comes one more time. Lloyd is in the pit bend. There's at least one other Southern car running. Now, surely he's just got to weave his way through here. He's getting some instruction from his teammates on the centre as he goes piling in to the Southern car, take that! And in the gloom of night, it's pretty tricky to uh, pinpoint some numbers up track there, but uh, we know the number on the leading car, who's doing a sterling job for the Northern team here, is lost it, Lloyd. 336, Ian Smith reverses, tries again. But Lloyd, he's like the crafty fox. He gets through. He's been nobbled. He's been pinned. 
He's in reverse. And you just get the feeling he's going to make it through there in this 15 lap event. <laughs> Last lap board on the raceway. The checkered flag is finally readied. And an epic marathon in the tanks final today. And it looks as though the points will surely go to the north. And Lloyd Isherwood. Check a flag and the ready. One more time, Lloyd. Right turn. He's through. He's through. He's there. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Lloyd wins the tanks final. Red flag is out. How on earth are they going to get all these cars back into the safe area? Final winner coming around the uh, circuit. Northern fans are cheering. One or two people making their way out of the stadium simply because the cold has got just too much. But uh, here at DH Video, we're going to be here to the bitter end. Whenever that is.